That's three straight wins for Arsenal now, a 4-1 win over Leeds. At what point do we sit up, Stevie, and go, actually, this Arsenal team's pretty decent? Yeah, they're decent. Yeah, they're, they're, they pass the ball, their movement's good. Uh, they were pretty much in, in total control uh, of this game uh, and recently have been in long patches of, of games they've played. So, listen, this was a good performance from Arsenal. Uh, thoroughly deserved. The game should have been over at half time. I guess probably was, but it should have been five, not three. A uh, little hiccup with a penalty kick for Leeds to get back to 3-1. But uh, Smith Rowe coming on and just really sealing the deal uh, with that fourth goal. So great performance from Arsenal. Um, and the thing that impresses me actually about them is that they're consistent. Listen, I don't think they're, they're world beaters. But they are very consistent. They move the ball well. And as I said, the movement off the ball is so good. Uh, and today, it really showed up against a lead side that, that can't handle anybody who, who moves them around. If I was to say leads were far too open, would that be being polite? Yes, but that's not a shock. You know, the, the, the trouble leads have, in my opinion, the biggest problem they have is they don't defend when they've got the ball. You know, you'll, you'll find, it, particularly, today's a great example. You've got Ailing and Koch, who, who normally, I don't think, are the best centre-backs. Ailing usually doesn't play there. But what you have to do, when you've got the ball and you're going forward, as a defender, and as a centre-back, you've got to figure out where to be if the ball's turned over. And that is a constant. You know, you, you're constantly watching where the ball is, where the play is, what's going on around you, and so you can get your start. And that's why it's called a starting position. Uh, and if your starting position's wrong, then you're in trouble. And that's why I'm today. Uh, like I said, Martinelli, um, every time the ball was turned over, they found themselves in so much space that it was just one pass, they're turning, and now they're running at Leeds. That, that to me... Certainly was Leeds' biggest problem today, but it's always been the problem. They don't defend well enough behind the ball when they're in possession, so that when it's turned over, they're in a position to defend. Let's talk a little bit about Gabriel Martinelli then, shall we? Because it's really turning it on of late, especially since he's been starting under Arteta. He's delivering every time, it seems. Well, I think for him, it's not a question of does he have ability. It's a question of can he keep himself fit? You know, this kid seems to have been around for two or three years now. Um, and he only ever plays two or three games on the trot. And, and he starts producing, and like he's doing now, two great goals today. Uh, could have had more. But then he picks up an injury. And unfortunately for him, they don't seem to be little niggles. He seems to be out for a long spell. So I, I don't think anybody thinks that Martinelli uh, doesn't have quality. Um He's got it all, uh, and he's also got pace, which all defenders hate. So for me, this kid has to stay fit. And if he does that, then then Arsenal's got a gem. So obviously he's so young. We saw Saka on the score sheet as well. Uh, Smith Rowe coming off the bench and scoring again. That's a 20-year-old and a 21-year-old. Martinelli, 20. It yeah. seems that Arsenal have got a bright future ahead of them with the youth performing like this, though, under Arteta. Yeah, I don't think we can argue with that. Uh, and I think the fact that defensively, they've certainly tightened up. Uh, Gabriel and Ben White, uh, along with Ramsdale and Goal, and Tommy Asu, I guess he, he needs a mention because he's been real solid. I, I think young players need strength around them so that everything's not on them. You know, the fact is, is that young players, the biggest problem they have is consistency. But when you've got experienced, solid, consistent players around you, that can take the pressure off the kids a little. And I think that's what's happening. The guys at the back are doing their job, and that means that the young guys going forward are not under constant pressure to produce. Because, listen, the, the final third, the attacking third of the field, is the hardest place to produce. Uh, and when you're a young player, uh, it's, it's, it's tough on you to, to have so much responsibility. And Arsenal getting an away win just to finish. Obviously, that's something else going in their favour. That's a positive sign. Can't always say that they've been able to get away win so easily mm. this season. 
top four finish for them, Stevie, on today's performance? Well, it's not on today's performance. It's on what happened <laughs> over the course of the season. Uh, and three or four months ago, they were they were languishing way down the table. So, uh, do they have a chance? Absolutely. The the more you see them, the more they win, uh, the more they look in control of games, home or away, then the more cynics like me will start to think they can be top four. I, I just think they are one of probably five or six teams who are actually vying for that top four spot. And really, it's not about what you do in December. It's what you do right at the end of the season when it matters most. And, and who, keeps a, who keeps a composure and keeps that control? Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.